Hi, welcome to the Hotung Visualization Lab. My name is Joe Aiken. I'm the Senior Visualization Lab Designer and Technician. I'd like to share a few things that we've been doing over the past couple of years. All right, first and foremost, we've used this facility for a wide variety of coursework for our Colgate classes. Professor Tony Avini has actually paved the way by designing a whole course around the dome. And he brings this class in at least once or twice a week. And we do a wide variety of projects in that class. Other professors have also used this space intermittently throughout the semester, from the astronomers to classics. Astronomers, we had Tom Bolonic and Jeff Berry use this space. Geography, Adam Burnett. We even had geology in here with Bruce Selleck bringing this class in. And of course, classics, Robert Garland. We actually developed a whole uh, scene out of Shakespeare's Caesar with live actors. This beautiful facility is not just a theater. We actually create our own content here at Colgate. We have about five or six students that actually work for me where I teach them 3D modeling software and some other production software where we're creating like wide throughs of Stonehenge to the Cascade regions. We've even gone down through the Grand Canyon that we're gonna be sharing with other facilities around the world. Right now, we're also working on a project where students are creating a 3D model fly through of a painting, a very famous painting that we're gonna be using in one of our productions. So it's been a great couple of years creating content here for the Dome, but as technology improves, I'm really excited about the potential of what we can create here for our facility at Colgate. From the outset, faculty here at Colgate wanted to use this facility not for a passive experience for our students, but an active one. Back to Tony Avini's classes, he actually, in almost every one of his classes, the students not only look up at the sky, look at up objects in the sky, but we actually use it where they take down data and they actually analyze this data and then draw their own conclusions from what they saw on the dome. As far as research goes, we've had a student travel to Mexico and take alignment data for different horizons and she brought all that data back, put it on the dome, we took the sky back 1,500 years and she verified some of her hypothesis. So she's very excited about that. And we're excited because it kind of opens the doorway for more possibilities of research here in the Dome. As I mentioned before, we get students involved, not only for content creation, but for doing presentations. I'm a sophomore here. I'm a geology major. Um, we do a lot of astronomy up in the Viz Lab. On a weekly basis, we get two or three students in the Dome actually presenting content to the general public, all the way from kindergarten to senior citizens. Well, um, there's supposed to be three videos when we're done, like Adam Burnett said, for each of the landscapes. So this really complements this liberal arts education by giving students an opportunity to improve their public speaking skills. Since our opening, over 10,000 people have visited our facility from school kids to the public to prospective students. And by the way, we do not charge anything for our shows. So this is a great way for Colgate to reach out to the community by providing a very positive scientific educational outreach to the surrounding area in this rural environment. <laughs>